Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay and I am the chair of the Canadian Pride ERN. I live in Vancouver with my husband of 25 years and my two lovely daughters. One is almost 22 who came out as gay at around about uh, 15 and the other one is a trans girl who came out as trans when she was almost 17. Now many of you that know me know of the shock I felt when my eldest uh, came out as gay. And I'm sure I didn't win any Parent of the Year awards for my first reaction. And I reflect on that often. And unfortunately, while I can't turn back time, I have instead chosen to educate myself past accepting to really fully embracing. In those reflections, it made me realise how hard it is for those wanting to come out, uh, particularly when their own flesh and blood struggle to accept the why. By the time my youngest uh, came out, who was identified male at birth, I was way smarter. The words that I should have used with my eldest came flowing out without pause. Thanks for telling me. That couldn't have been easy. I'm glad that you trust me. I love you. What do you need from me? Now that didn't mean that I didn't have questions and concerns, but my daughter felt accepted without question. Now while this was news to us, she'd been sitting on her story since early childhood. She had done the research, she'd read the books, so knew exactly what wasn't fitting. It was simple, she was a girl. Her coming out story was the beginning of a recovery from mental health, which had resulted in anxiety, depression, suicidality, hospital visits, and a couple of failed suicide attempts. I do want to underline that allyship is active. It's not passive. Allyship is not just accepting. Allyship is standing behind that person, cheering them on to be their authentic self. It's standing with that person to know that you're with them every step of the way. But sometimes in front of them, when they can't use their own voice to stand up for their rights. At 3M I've come in contact with many allies who have supported, educated and guided me through my journey. And through that, I've now become a person that others come to for support through my transparency. My eldest daughter has the most wonderful partner who we adore and while the youngest continues to work through her own mental health challenges is now a peer mentor at a local youth group which brings her much joy. Do you know if you're struggling with any of what I have went through just know that you're not alone. It may seem scary initially as a parent to face this. It's a process that will, is going to open up a whole new world to you that you never thought existed. Your unconscious bias will be te tested and it will be a challenge for you in many ways, in more ways than you ever imagined. I'm so thankful for all the people I've met during this whole process, but most thankful to my girls for living their authentic selves. Thanks so much for listening.